Hello there. This is a quick demo of some coding exercise that I was doing earlier today around field flow. And so what you see right now on the screen is discretized, discretized um, noise distribution. And I'm using the so-called open simplex uh, open simplex noise, simplex noise, and to generate this thing, there is a control. You can kind of control zoom level of this thing and the size of the, you know, cells. So when it's just one to one, you can see it looks like sun <laughs> fluctuation stuff. So you can, you know, you can zoom in, zoom out. Um, to define the granular granularity. I have this thing here that scales everything from zero to one because by default it's just not right at zero and not right at, uh, at one, but actually this thing is not that useful as I discovered later on. Now, what I can do with this noise? Well, let's just, you know, make the, uh, make slots a bit bigger. And now we can assign direction based on the value that being generated by this noise. And if we now remove colors, we get this field flow, like randomly nicely made field flow. So, you know, imagine this is like fluid dynamic kind of thing. There is uh, some fluid you know, flowing in different directions. So in each point in the grid, it has different direction. What we can also do, we can add magnitude. So uh, magnitude controlled separately by a different noise distribution. So those two things are kind of unrelated, but you can imagine now magnitude means, I don't know how strong current at this point is. And you can see visually the arrow gets bigger when the you know, current is stronger. Um, now, if you noticed all the arrows usually point to the left and rarely to the right, and this can be fixed by slowly rotating the whole, like, you know, bi bias of the direction also using the same noise distribution. So when that flag is turned on, now what you will see, they will be all over the place. So yeah, so overall direction is, if, if, if without it, overall direction is kind of left by default and then sometimes up, sometimes, sometimes down, this thing just rotates this bias also Ran randomly uh, using the same simplex noise distribution. Now, yeah, we can we can turn the color colors on. Uh, the colors don't show the magnitude; they only show direction. And also with this feature, they don't really show. I mean, they show relative. Oh yes, and and the fact that it's changing, I forgot to mention, is just a you know like a third dim dimension of this noise distribution. Like imagine, f you know, three dimensional fluid system and what we're looking at is just slices. So we kind of, you know, slicing it through three dimensional cube uh, with some time. Uh, we can we can change speed over here so I can make speed faster or I can stop it. So, yeah, if we speed it up now, we can we can make the cells smaller. So now our features are, uh, you know, much more granular and all the dynamics is much more granular. Now, what can we do? We can, we can either decrease, like, you know, zoom in and now, and okay. And let's slow it down. Now everything is much more smoother. So there's only like a couple of main directions. And if we start zooming in, you know, we're adding more and more uh, granularity. I don't know <laughs> to use other word. Sorry. 
yeah so it gets smaller and smaller i guess if we zooming out more and more it makes sense to you know decrease the uh, the cell size and now you can see how it's the next step would be to uh generate actual flow uh lines or streaks or there's different names for them yeah so just to um visualize the flow field even better because currently it's just grid like and it just shows in different in different points where the direction is and what's the magnitude yeah and that's pretty much it uh all the relevant links that i've gathered while doing a little bit of research are in the description below like and subscribe i'm i'm kidding that's just one off video and the link to this demo so you can play with that also in the description thank you bye bye